In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of step one of the four step process for learning your driving theory. Step one is all about getting to know and understanding each of the topic areas. So we'll start off by clicking the step one button here. We've now been taken to the learning page and you'll see that the step one button has now turned green giving us a visual clue as to where we are on the site. The panel on the right gives an overview of what this section of the site is all about. So it's telling us that we're going to learn about the question topics. It tells us that each topic has a panel below, which we'll look at in a minute. Each of the panels is color coded. They start as red and then they change to amber and then green as you learn the lessons. The task is to get all panels to be green. This means that you've understood all of the topic areas and you'll be well prepared to move on to step two to start testing yourself against them. So let's scroll down and look at the panels. Here we can see the panels. Each panel relates to one DSA topic area. I'm currently logged into a car account, so these topics are those you'd expect to find in a car test. The principle applies for all other test types, so whether you have a car account, a bike account, an LGV account, a PCV account or an ADI Part 1 account, the topics are laid out in exactly the same fashion. So let's take the first topic and look at the lessons relating to accidents. So this is the learning page for the accidents topic. You can see we have a drop down list of the lessons available for this topic and for this demonstration I'm going to choose level crossings. Now the first thing to notice is that the frame of the lesson is red which indicates that we've yet to indicate that we've learned this lesson. The lesson itself breaks down into two sections. The first section is the explanation on the left. The second section is picture based learning material on the right. So once you've read the explanation, move to the picture based learning material which will support what you've just read. To view the picture based material, we use the navigation buttons here. We can step forwards, we can step backwards, and we can step backwards to the beginning. So if we just step through these pictures, we're told that if you are on a level crossing and you break down and warning lights start flashing, get everyone out of the car and clear of the crossing to a safe distance or area. Use the emergency phone to contact the signal operator. Only if instructed by the operator, push the car clear of the crossing into a safe area. The final step is to indicate that we have read and understood the lesson and we do this by ticking this box. You'll notice that the lesson frame has now turned green and this is a visual clue that this is a lesson which we have learned. It's also possible to add lessons to my lessons, which allows us to bookmark lessons that we'd like to come back to later. To move between lessons, we use the next lesson button and the previous lesson button. We can see that for lessons we've yet to learn, that the frames are red, and for the lesson we've just learnt, the frame is green. So in summary, step one of the four step process to learning your DSA driving theory familiarises you with all of the DSA topics and provides an understanding of each area which will allow you to move on to step two to test yourself against each of the topic areas.